Albert Goldman, you're famous for your book about Lenny Bruce, but above all for the book you wrote about Elvis Presley. And now you have a very wonderful success with the one you wrote about John Lennon, and which is, I, I think, number two in the States, no? How many copies did you sell yet? I don't know, they made maybe uh, 300,000, but how many they sell? Yeah, you never <laughs> this know. This is another question. Yeah. In, in your book, we learned that when he was playing in Hamburg at the era of the Star Club, uh, John Lennon had a fight with a sailor and he killed him. No, it wasn't a fight. Uh, they went to mug uh, the sailor. Yeah to take the money because they didn't have money to eat, to keep warm, it was cold. And uh, John uh, got angry and uh, hit the sailor very hard. And later he worried maybe he left him for dead, but there is no evidence uh, that this happened. But he worried, he was guilty. Yeah, he thought he killed him. He was afraid of this. Did you read the Pete Best book about it? Yes, and we interviewed Pete too. Pete was the first drummer, we should say. Ah, uh, yes, and very famous in his day. Now yeah. a sad story. Yeah. And we also learn in your book that uh, John Lennon was homosexual and he had, he had an adventure with uh, Brian Epstein. Yes, I wouldn't say uh, homosexual because that implies he liked the men only. Yeah. <laughs> he liked the women mostly. But uh, yes, with the manager, he did uh, have an You're affair. You're sure of it? John said so and uh, he discussed it with several people. He said, I have to have control of the man who controls us. Ah, that's why. But I don't think this was a, a matter of sex. I think it was power. Even if your book doesn't please so much the Beatles fans, uh, for, for who John Lennon was a hero, they, they will be, and for you too, I think, they, they, they will be very pleased to, to read about uh, Yoko Ono, because for you, Yoko Ono is worse than Pearl Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She is also very funny, though, I yeah. think. Uh, somewhat uh, absurd yeah. with the magic and with all the tricks and manipulations, you know? A, a somewhat comical character, I think. You behind, find, you behind find the big glasses. Yeah, the post glasses. Yes. Uh, sort of absurd, you know, yeah. to make so much trouble to achieve such a little result mm. is comedy. Mm. And why did you choose John Lennon after Lenny Bruce and Elvis Presley? Well, I always admired him greatly, mm. and I felt I wanted someone who was uh, the greatest uh, of all these people. And uh, we spent years and years on the six and a half years, yeah. 1,200 interviews, a half a million dollars. Yeah. We did everything to make it the most uh, thorough research in the history of uh, celebrity biography. But why do you always choose people who are dead and so they cannot defend themselves? Well, you cannot write a man's life until it is finished, you know? It's like a book, it has to be complete. But why did Paul McCartney react so violently to your book? I think Paul is like, I always say, he's like the English Maurice Chevalier. Yeah. <laughs> always sunshine, uh, blue sky, happy. Uh, he doesn't like anything unpleasant. Mm -hmm. This is bad for the image. Yeah. For you it was bad too. It was bad for all of us. Yeah. And uh, why did you refuse to respond to the Rolling Stone journalists that I felt it was responded to by Newsweek. Yeah. Newsweek really answered those people and showed that they were all uh, fools in a way. You know, Jan Wenner, who owns uh, Rolling Stone, this is Yoko's closest friend. They travel together, they do everything together, so naturally he's going to defend her. There is a thing in your book, there is a picture where you show the Beatles uh, with the Maharashi, yeah. and uh, you say uh, there are two people unknown, and in fact, it is Mike Mike Gear, who is uh, Paul's brother, yes. and Patty Boyd, who was uh, George's girlfriend. So, if you read a book, 700 pages about John Lennon, and when we say Mike Mike Gear and uh, Patty Boyd, and you say they are known, this was a picture editor made this mistake. Yeah. You know, I don't write the uh, the captions. Yeah. I don't write the on the back of the book. I only you know write that, in the text. You know what I mean? Yes, of course. Is it the same in there the... There were several of these little mistakes, so we have to correct them now. Is it the same in the American uh, copy? Oh, yes, it was the same mistake. 
There were some mistakes, but when you write so many thousands and thousands of words, little things creep in like this, foolish things. Is, I think your book is the ultimate, the paroxysm of new journalism. And uh, we don't understand why people in Rolling Stone uh, attacked it, because in fact, it is an, ulti an ultimate in new journalism. It's to say, when you, when you search, when you look, when you are trying to get information about the privacy of the people, at the end you come to your book. Uh, I was always uh, acceptable to Rolling Stone. They published parts of Elvis. Yeah. But when it comes to Yoko, uh, you know, uh, this is... You think they are really close friends? Oh, I know, of course. Mm -hmm. They live uh, together on holiday, this kind of thing, so... I have to be bad in Rolling Stone. <laughs> Can you still listen to uh, John Lennon's record? Oh, I love it, because the music is uh, always the strongest of that period. It lasts longer than any of the others. Albert Goldman, tell me, who is next? Albert Goldman is next. And now I turn the uh, lens on myself. Yeah. I'm writing a book again I never finished about my years with the drug smugglers in yeah. South America, in Colombia and in Florida. Two and a half years I traveled back and forth with them while they brought the drugs to America. But I had to wait until they all died, until I could write this book. <laughs> like usual. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, as long as they were alive, I couldn't tell the truth. <laughs>